Okay, so it's time for something that I have not done in a while, which is a haul video, yeah! I don't know what this is. It's like a T-Rex getting really excited about something. Yay! I am gonna be doing a haul. I went to Target, I went to Anthropology, I went to Topshop, and I also got some stuff from my mother, my mother's friend, which I'm so excited about. Um, It may or may not include a giveaway because I got some extras that you guys may or may not want. Spoiler alert, they're adorable bracelets, don't even. The first place that I went was Anthropology, and I actually only got two things there but I like both of them very much so, so I'm gonna show them to you right now. So I needed some stuff to decorate my apartment with since it is just like sad and lonely. So I decided to get this little fella, hey, because I don't have any real pets right now. So I decided to get one that is never going to die on me. I had a fish tank at one point and all of the fish ate each other, mainly because I always forgot to feed them. Oops, that hasn't happened in a while. My parents shouldn't have trusted me with a fish tank at 14, let's be honest. I can't even take care of myself at 14, let alone 14 little fish. So anyway, I got Mr. Goldfish here. He's super cute and I've been putting candles on him and stuff. The other thing that I got at Anthropology was a skirt. I was actually shopping with Casey, Sparkly Barbie XO, when I got this and she was like, that skirt is so you, it's not even funny. Like no one else would probably wear that except for you, so get excited. This is what this loverly skirt looks like. Hey, it has Sparkles at the bottom and it has a beautiful pattern to it and I really like it. So there. I actually wore that skirt on a couple of meetings like three or four days ago while I was with Megan and Lauren and both of them were in like crop tops and really cute short skirts and da 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 da. And I was like, well I'm just flashing ankle over here because that's really all you can do in this skirt, which I appreciate. Modest is hottest, people. Or is it? You tell me. Like I said, I went to Topshop as well. I got two things at Topshop. The first thing is this really, really cute dress. Hey, look at that. It's got this really pretty back to it as well. It's a little wrinkled and has a few choice stains on it because I wore it yesterday. And we went out and ate a lot. We got shish kebabs yesterday and they were delicious. Damn you Mediterranean food. Then the second and last thing that I got from Topshop was a shirt that had kind of the same form as the dress. It's very, very flowy, cami, a uh, little wrinkled once again, cause I wore it. Just really great to wear with, uh, for instance, like my anthropology skirt that I just got. Things that are very, very, colorful and bright. This is a nice simple shirt and you can even wear a bralette with it that's a little bit like beautiful and lacy and then it kind of shows through and you're like, mmm. I then went to Target and I got mm, a bunch of things. Uh, so we're just gonna go through and show them all to you. The first two things that I got are gonna be shown in pairs and actually a third thing is gonna get added to them. I got two candles. I ripped the labels off of them already and burned both of them last night. I don't know what I was thinking. Isn't everything in a haul supposed to be all pristine and beautiful? Well, I definitely defied that. This one is pumpkin spice and this one is cashmere mist. Oh my god. This one smells like Nicholas. Is that a weird thing to say? It smells like Nicholas. He wears Dolce & Gabbana the one cologne, in case you were wondering. Oh my gosh, it smells so much like him. That's weird. I didn't even realize that until just now. Boyfriend Kendall. I got both of these little lovely things because guess what? Fall stuff is coming out. Is that not so scary? Like fall and, and back to school and weird things. Like I am not comfortable with it and yet I already bought stuff because I support fall very heavily. And I also got one of these beautiful lavender Bic lighters for those as well because I want to be able to light them and not just have them sitting in my room. Although they look pretty. From Target, I also got the Remington Tea Studio Silk Ceramic thing that is just basically a curling wand. I used it today, which is why I kind of have like these crazy loose curls, because this is this is kind of what my hair looks like when I wake up in the morning anyway, just this is a little more refined. This is what the actual rod looks like. I really, really like this. I forgot both my curling iron and my straightener at home, and so I was like, oh no, I need someone to sponsor me so I can get a nice curling rod. And then I caved and went to Target and decided to just buy this instead, because I'm lazy and I don't like asking people for stuff. Period. So <laughs> I went out and bought this for myself and I'm so happy I did because it's cheap and it works really, really well. So I really recommend this. It's the one to one and a half inch wide curling wand for large loose curls. Next from Target, I got a lot of boob related things. <laughs> Seriously, I did. I got the super light adhesive bra. Hello, sexy lady. Mainly because I'm wearing a lot of dresses and shirts nowadays where I you hate wearing bras with them. Like I hate having straps and dealing with crappy things like that. I'd rather just have like 
nude bra things to stick on my boobs. Oh my gosh. What? These are so sticky. Do you see this? Sticking on my thumb, thumb boobs. You hook this like in the middle somehow. These are still stuck to my thumbs. We're gonna try to do this the old fashioned way. Oh, let me, lady, lady. No, I'm just trying to help. Oh, there we go. So this is what these boobies look like. Uh, they're very sticky and I think they will last a long time, which is nice. And they were pretty inexpensive, less than $20 for these loverly boobies. Um, so that means that I can wear shirts like this and people will wonder if I'm not wearing a bra because they won't be able to see it. They'll just think that I don't have nipples, I guess, because they won't show through. That's an inappropriate thing to say. I need to stop what I'm just, LA has done bad things to me. Speaking of nipples though, the next thing that I got was the reusable silicone gel petals with travel case. And basically what that means is nipple covers. Because, once again, I hate wearing bras, so I'm gonna do anything I can to the point of sticking flower-looking things on my nipples so that I don't have to wear a bra. Because guess who's classy? Me. I'm the classiest of all. So yeah, these are what these little guys look like. I haven't pulled off the plastic on them because I'm, I'm not using them currently, and so I don't want to waste their stickiness already. So that's what these look like. Hello! It's really hot in my apartment. Let me just get my nipple petals out. Okay, so enough with boob related things. Uh, now, moving on, I got the Pons Wet Cleansing Towelettes in Evening Soothe because these are my favorite makeup removers. I love these. They get like top marks every year. They're like an Allura Beauty favorite. Um, yeah, they're awesome. My mom uses them, my sisters use them. We are addicted to them. Then I got the Neutrogena Micro Mist Airbrush Sunless Tan in Medium because fake it till you make it am I right this is my favorite one because it, it goes on really really smoothly it dries super quickly you can go and sit on your white couch if you want to hey and you won't get self tanner everywhere which is great the only downside is this stuff smells a little meaty you know what I'm saying like it's got that self self tanner tang to it but it's not too bad. We suffer for beauty, it's okay. The last two things that I got from Target were both lip products. These are actually the same lip products, just different colors. Um, they are the Alme Color Plus Care Liquid Lip Balms, and I have to say, I'm obsessed with these. I'm wearing this one right now. This is rosy lipped, and then the pinky one is blooming. And both of these are beautiful. They are not sticky at all. They are, like they say, a liquid lip balm. They're amazing, I highly recommend them. They smell like MAC lip glosses, which I love because I, I love the smell of MAC lip glosses. I just hate the texture. It's the worst. And it's great for shoots and stuff like that because it stays on for a very long time. But in real world lifetime, I hate it. I hate MAC lip glosses. Now moving on to the stuff that you could potentially win. My mom is really, really good friends with the owner of Elong 23, which is based out of Dallas. It's like a jewelry shop and I think it has a few other fun things like that. Joanne, the person who owns the store, sent me some loverly loverly bracelets. They're like these Italian uh, rope bracelets. It looks like this. She also sent me this beautiful, beautiful bracelet that has these little lovely wings on it. So she sent me these bracelets and I'm, I'm reading this because I'm, I'm not positive about how to pronounce the name. Pronunciation is not my strongest suit as you guys know. Um, they're called Cruciani or Cruciani bracelets. They're considered like this Mediterranean good luck charm and just kind of like a trendy, interesting item. Um, so she sent me a crap ton of them. So I was like, you know what? I don't wanna just hoard these for myself. So these three little lovelies are up for grabs. There's one that's like little stars and really cute. And then there's one that's little like shamrock looking things. And then there's one that's flowers, little pink flowers. So. Uh, let me know in the comments box which one you guys like the best. Don't forget to follow Elong23 on Instagram, all that fun stuff. Links will be in the description box as well as somewhere on the video so that you guys can go and check them out. Um, I technically am not sponsored by them. I just really, really like the lady that runs it. I just, I don't know, she sent these all to me and I thought it was super sweet. But I want you guys to have some of these. So if you want to be entered in, do both of those things. Follow them on Instagram and comment below. And hopefully you'll be one of the lucky winners of one of these beautiful bracelets. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, like this video, and favorite it. Delightful times. Also follow me on all my social media sites and you can stay updated on what's going on in my life in LA now. Isn't that cray cray? I can't believe I'm not in Arkansas. I guess I'll see you guys for the next video and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.
and we kissed very passionately. It was also my first French kiss. I had no idea what was happening. It was like octopus tentacles in my mouth. I don't even know what's going on. Ah. 